Okay, Matthew, um, very not defeat, uh, sum up your, your, your feelings. Well, you wouldn't be able to add it if I did. Um, same disappointing is an understatement. It's, look, you're going to lose games of football. It's the manner that you lose them and, and how you perform during the game that, you know, basically sums you up at the end. Um, and the manner that we performed in today was nowhere near uh, acceptable for any team that goes out in, in my name or Port Anthony. Obviously, it's been a tough couple of weeks at, at, at the club. Has that had a bigger effect on you know, I'd like to stand in and say no, and just say that the professional athletes they've got to, you know, get their minds around it. But certainly, being self-isolating in their own houses for two weeks, they can't even get out for a run. It must have had an effect. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to stand here and say it didn't. I don't want to use it as an excuse. And I'm certain it doesn't help. You know, it doesn't help that we've had one training session in, in a fortnight, or just over a fortnight. So, no excuses, because. You still go out and give everything you've got, and I don't believe we did that today, if I'm honest. I think maybe people were worried that they wouldn't last the 90 minutes. Um, some didn't, obviously, and, and that's the way it went. Was the, the changes at half-time a reflection of the first half, or was it uh, an issue of getting players through the, the, the full game? A bit of both, yeah. You know, Barney, it's good to get him back, but he obviously wasn't quite there fitness-wise. Um, we, we just thought he struggled. Um, Paddy had a stiff back, probably, from sitting on the sofa for a fortnight. Could have maybe made a couple more changes, but we're only allowed three. Um, you know, and, then we, and then we're trying to manage people through that have been sick, coming back from injury. You can't manage every... You know, with the end of the day, we've, we've three subs, we've you know, 11 players out there, and if you've seven, maybe that's struggling. It's damage limitation, you know, and it becomes like that. But I, I still feel, looking at it, we... Regardless of who's there, you've got to do better on the pitch. You've got to stop people running off you, track your runners, get on the end of things, put your body on the line, don't ball watch on one twos, and all of that today. When I talk about football, I think I'm wasting my breath. When I say, you know, you need to track runners, you need to do, you know, I think that's a waste because I think that's a given. For me, as a football player all my career, and, and obviously as a manager, I don't expect me to have to tell my team at half time that they have to work harder and press harder and compete and win tackles and headers I think that's an easy way out um, I think my job as a manager and, and a coach is to educate them in terms of what they're doing wrong I think you're wasting your breath for 15 minutes at half time when you're only telling them to effing run and that's the way that I felt today when you know and as footballers you should be embarrassed if somebody's telling you you're not working hard enough and, and I was embarrassed on the on the touchline watching this play. Yeah. Right the Christmas now and where the, the games really ramp up there's going to be all the games midweek and stuff it's going to be a, a big uh, time for the, for the club. Yeah, yeah we obviously play next Saturday at Balmain and then it's a, a midweek game against Dungannon. Saturday Lan, Crusaders away. It's what we got to the Premier League for. There's no point I'm not going to stand in and cry because we've tough games and because we're getting beat away from home off, off a decent football team today. What we have to do is make sure we're better work hard or work smart you know, it's not always about working hard make sure that we've got something set up in a manner that I think we can compete um, with the rest of the teams in the league look I said it at the first game of the season when we won we weren't the best in the league and because we've been beat today we're not the worst in the league we've had a bad day as long as we don't have more bad days and good days you know what I mean then we, we, we should be okay but today was a, was a poor day from everybody you know, it's disappointing but if there is any positives, I'll look at them. You know, I'm looking at it and I go, right, well, Stephen Tiger's played now. That's a positive for us. He's obviously been out for most of the season. Barney gets 45 minutes. He's David. We get Alan McCallum back on the pitch. All right, not ideal circumstances. Coming on at half time, but he's back playing. Adam Sally got another half an hour in his belt. Rory Crossley got a 90 minutes in him. So, whether it was good enough over them minutes for them players, probably not. But at least they're getting them in the body and then next week we'll try and kick on and make it make it a better performance looking forward to get back to training yeah for me you want to you want to be there all the time don't you you know and look fair play Clifton Bill had offered us maybe to move the game back to next Tuesday but it didn't like it was late on whenever they they asked us that on Thursday so it would have an extra couple of training sessions helped probably now because we've been beat 5-0 but that you know hindsight's a wonderful thing next week we'll look forward to what we've got planned um for Balamina, we'll watch them Tuesday night against Carrick and then take it from there and hopefully what the work we do is, is the right work. Thank you very much.